What's up you guys? Welcome to Books My Quiet Friends. My name's Sydney and today I'm here to bring you my November TBR. This should be a fairly short video because I'm posting this really late, although I am doing it earlier than it's being posted. <laughs> just have some plans for next weekend so I really want to get this done and out to you guys. So without further ado, here is what I really really hope to read this month. I am currently reading A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass. This is a reread for me and I'm about 118 pages in... 118? 119? Doesn't really matter. But I hope to finish this this weekend. That's quite a goal considering how lengthy and massive this book is. But since it's a reread I'm kind of hoping that that will help me out. I'm listening to Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I'm about four hours into an eight hour audiobook, so about halfway through, and I am loving it. More on that in my wrap up, I hope. I finished The Diviners about two months ago, I do believe, and I would like to continue with Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray. Once again, this is a beastly book, so I don't know why I put this right after I finished A Court of Mist and Fury. Maybe because I just like to torture myself with big old books, but. We're gonna try it anyways. Yeah, this book is 613 pages. So I'm gonna try and get this out. <laughs> the next two books that I have here are Scarlet and Cress. Yeah, Scarlet and Cress by Marissa Meyer. These are the second and the third books in the Lunar Chronicle series. I read Cinder two months ago and would really like to continue with these and kind of see where that story takes us. Also, these are super hyped on booktube and I just wanna know why everyone likes these ones so much. Like, I really liked the first one. I enjoyed it. Some parts were predictable. But, like, is it going to get less predictable? I need to know. So, hopefully these both happen this month. So, while I usually use my TBR jars in front of the camera and pull out the books and everything for you guys, this month I kind of did it on my own because I was only going to choose three books. So I chose two new releases, like 2016, 2017 releases. And then I chose one older release. So I chose The Darkest Lie by Pintip Dan. This one's pretty short and it seems very dramatic so hopefully it's easy to get through or quick to get through. I also pulled out Ruined by Amy Tintira. This is actually a book I think I got from my grandma. Oh yeah, she totally wrote in it. <laughs> And I'm really looking forward to this. I'd heard so many good things comparing this to aspects of Red Queen. I don't know if that's true or not, but we're going to try it out. <laughs> and finally, I got Sing You Home by Jodi Picoult. This is one that my mom gave me, and she really loved Jodi Picoult. I hope I'm saying her name right. So I hope you enjoy this one as well. If I don't get to this this month, though, I'm thinking it might just go back to my mom. Because it's been on my shelf for a while. And ladies and gentlemen, that is not all. There are two books I'm hoping to get done on audiobook this month. As long as I get them, I'm just kind of waiting on the hold list. Those would be The Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan and The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan. So this is the fourth and the fifth book in the Percy Jackson series. I really enjoyed listening to the audiobooks and I might continue doing that for the next series, but I'm not sure yet. So let me know if you've listened to the audiobook for any of his other series because I'm very curious. So those are all the books I plan to read this month. I hope you guys have a wonderful reading month and we'll see you next week. Bye!